the Cimarron Valley Research Station and joining us today is Candy Vendesca, who is a professional beekeeper. And yes. Candy, we've got a few hives that we've started here down in Perkins. Um, and we're gonna harvest honey today, is that correct? What today we... is honey harvest day. We're excited to look at them to see how much excess honey the girls have produced for us. Well, I'm glad I wore the right attire for today. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's, that, what's the first thing that we need to do in order to find that honey? Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we'll take the lid, the uh, lid off, and we will check that super and see if it's drawn and if it's capped. And if it is, we will remove it. We will put um, my fume board on, which is has a repellent on there that the bees don't really like. You it can actually kind of smell. smells good to me. It but, smells yeah. really good. To me. They have other that smells like vomit, but we don't use that <laughs> this one. This has kind of an almond smell to it. Right. So. so we'll put that on, and that will gently drive the bees down. So we can take the frames out without having that many bees interfere with us. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll pull them out and then I'll use my brush to remove the remaining ones. All right, so, so. Let's, let's head over there. We wanna make sure we're staying behind the hive. Is that correct? Absolutely, don't get in the girl's way. <laughs> and they're um, all females that we're working with, is that? Yes, <laughs> and we know how ladies are. Um, this, uh, wow. Got some good propolis. Look at the girls. Look at all those girls. Wow. And you see the sticky propolis? This, this, that's this. on my gloves and then also along the edges here? Absolutely. This is uh, propolis. It's what they seal the hive with. So it's kind of it like a wax? A, or? Kind of, only it has medicinal values. It's the antiseptic that uh, keeps their hive clean. This looks very, pro you can see. Can you see how yeah, sticky, yeah, it's how it, it's glue. It is absolutely bee glue. So the girls are gonna come out and see us. All right, look at this. They have, they do have a frame of cap tunning. So it's not, not every frame is drawn, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that when you, you keep saying drawn, they're actually have made honeycombs on that. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Goodness. So. So you're basically prying each I'm of those honeycombs each frames loose, from the box. Okay. Right. Because they've got them uh, glued or, or yeah. stuck together. So you can see, can you see that most of the bees are gone? Uh -huh. Okay. I think they're flying around us. <laughs> well, they are. Most of them. So we have a few bees. And so I'm just going to brush them off. I'm just brushing the excess bees. You can see they haven't completely drawn the frame, but they've got most of it filled. Mm -hmm. It's a nice so, dark golden color. Okay. So will we be just harvesting out of this top box? We will We will go at least these ne the next two. Okay. They have three boxes here that will be their winter stores, okay. what they will eat. They're a medium box when it is full of honey is about 60 pounds. Wow. So that was plenty enough for me to have to um, carry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna spray this, the bottom of the tray mm -hmm. with a little bit of this. That will move them out. So they, that's more of that humic. <clears throat> more of that. Herb. And this is called a triangle escape. You can see it's like a maze. Uh -huh. See the bees are, they fly to the light and then they have to work to get out. Okay. They can't normally get in. Gotcha. So any bee that's left in the box now will come up. Oh, okay. So when we talk about harvesting honey, we're really just taking a percentage of what they have uh, made and they're gonna survive off the rest of it. Right, we only take their excess. We make sure that they have enough left and bees, bees are constantly working. They are constantly searching out nectar. So any, any little hole that they have that they can fill, they're going to fill it. It doesn't matter how much they might have already. They just are constantly working. And then of course, depending on the season and the weather and where you might live, this happens maybe once or twice a year? Right. Okay. Uh, in Oklahoma, uh, I have been able to have two harvest before. In Kansas, we mainly just do one, but, but the, the nectar flow down here is so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I would call the boot test. See how I'm shaking that? Uh -huh. But none, no nectar came out. 
So even though it's not capped, this honey is, is right. Oh, okay. It is otherwise the right, it would come out because it would be too... It would be too wet, too much moisture in it still, but the water content is good. So the bees cap it themselves. How do they know when to cap it and when it's done? Do they just <laughs> fill it up and then it's done? Or? No, no. They have to, somehow they have to know the water content of that nectar. And when it gets below 18% moisture content, they will cap it and store it then. Um, they know it won't ferment. Okay, the lid on. And there is our, there is one super that is harvested. And now Lynn's gonna take this box off. And it is, it is full as well. So we'll put the fume board on while we carry this to the truck. Candy, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for letting us help you. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Wasn't it fun? <laughs> it was, it was. And it's, it's interesting to learn about how smart bees are to do this and a uh, great product that we get as well. Oh, they're fascinating creatures. I learn something new every day from them. Thank so, you. You're welcome. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.